Squad Genie Entertainment presents the following. As I make my way to Florida, let's have a recap. first suspect was Luke Birch, who was deemed innocent, despite the dead hookers. Yuck Nasty was out cold with Dom gear, and I survived the fart from Papa Dave, who gave me an envelope, and was told not to open it until I talked to my next suspect. So I knock on the door, and Johnny answers the door. I tell Johnny my reason for being here, and we start talking. He starts talking about politics. It goes on and on for an hour or so. I then remember the envelope Papa Dave had given me. It's this big, giant, orange envelope. As I stick my hand inside, 
Now, for the people that know me and are like, Sky Ginny, you don't smoke joints. This is true, but it's part of the story, so, oh well. So I pulled out this joint. The next thing I remember, it is eight hours later. And Johnny was still talking about politics. So it was at this point I figured Johnny Florida was not the culprit. I then left the house and as far as I know, Johnny Florida is still talking. Hey folks, check out the WNC on Mixler. As I am driving away. I had the thought there was no more leads on the person who farted that virus and killed all those innocent people on that train. I then get a text message from the same number and to meet them in Hollywood. Could this be the next suspect or the next lead? I drove my rental car to the airport and booked my ticket. Hey folks, check out the WNC on Mixler.